Today I wanted to do a little bit of a different type of video for you. I just wanted to do more of a comfy video, just chilled out, sitting here on my bed talking to you guys about my heart. And these type of videos really are why I started YouTube. I wanted to make YouTube to be able to share my love of Jesus with my audience and just share my heart and talk about real things. And I love makeup and I love fashion and challenge videos. I think that those are so fun. But these type of videos are what I really love. So I didn't want another video to go by without doing this video because it has been on my heart lately a lot to do this video. And just to kind of preface why I want to do this type of video is because I think that YouTube is such an amazing platform. I have an audience of over 200,000 people, which I just, I still cannot even believe that. But with that, I feel comes a responsibility to be more vulnerable with you guys and to be more open because I feel like YouTube can just end up being kind of surface level. And I never really want that for my channel because I want this to be a place where we have kind of a more deeper understanding of each other, not just surface level. So that's kind of why I wanted to do this video today. So I just wrote down a few questions that I wanted to answer for you guys. And this could be a tag video. It would be awesome if other YouTubers did this because I feel like it would kind of break down the walls of like the surface level of YouTube, if you know what I mean. I don't know if that makes sense, but I wrote down some questions and I wanted to answer them for you guys. So the first question I have on here is, where does your joy come from? And I thought that this was a cool question to start with just because I feel like this is very different for everybody, but the root of where my joy comes from is Jesus Christ. And I love Jesus, I am a Christian, and and that is what shapes who I am and kind of how I live my life. And I've gotten a ton of questions asking, how do you stay so positive? And like, how are you always so happy? Which that's not true. I'm not always happy, but that is one of the downsides of social media. You don't really see the negative parts of people's lives. You kind of only see like their perfect version of their life. But I would have to say I am more of a positive and joyful person. And that is just because of Jesus. He gives me so much joy and when when I'm reading his word or I'm in prayer and I'm just um, in a close relationship with him, I can just tell I am so much happier and I just have this sense of joy that is different than any joy that anything from the world can bring. And I don't know if that makes sense, but it is so true and I can just tell when I haven't spent time reading my Bible or I haven't spent time in prayer, I can just tell I feel more drained and more exhausted. So really where my joy comes from is Jesus and my relationship with God. My next question that I wrote is, how do you feel most loved? And I also love this question because it is different for everybody. But I think that the way I feel most loved is by spending time with people. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever taken the love language test, but my two top love languages are quality time and physical touch. So I love just spending time with people and if I don't get to spend time with people, I feel more disconnected from them, which is why it's really hard being in a long distance relationship with Marcus. But we make sure to kind of balance it out because when we are together, we're really intentional about really being present with each other and just like making the most out of the time that we are spending together. Yeah, the way I feel most loved is definitely spending time with people, cuddling with people, hugging people. That is really just my happiest thing. The next question is, what is something that you've overcome? And I think that this is a really hard question because I feel like things that I've struggled with in the past, even though I've gotten a lot better at handling them, I still struggle with them today a little bit, even if it's not as much as I used to. But one of those things I think is an extreme lack of self-confidence. In middle school and high school, even if I didn't act like it, I was the least confident person ever. I just always compared myself to everybody else. I never wanted to talk. I never raised my hand in class. I never went out of my way to meet new people just because I did feel very um, just self-conscious. I didn't have any sense of identity. Even though I did know Jesus, I didn't really have a 
intentional relationship with him so I never really spent time reading my Bible I never really spent time in prayer so I think that I just compared myself with other people I didn't really know who the heck I was I just it was just like that awkward time middle school and high school I just I just didn't have any sense of self I didn't have any sense of like purpose or identity so I think that that's something that I really really changed once I came to college because I found friends that pointed me to Jesus and I found friends that encouraged me and lifted me up and that was just a huge game changer. I really found who I was and I met Marcus freshman year and I think that he also helped kind of make me a more confident person because he just always encouraged me in everything that I did and he always said, Kristen, you should do this because you'd be great at it. I think that just self-consciousness and um, lack of identity are two things that I've kind of overcome. The next question is, what is one of your biggest struggles or weaknesses and this is a hard question too because like you don't really want to admit your weaknesses and you don't want to really admit your struggles but I know right away what my biggest struggle is and that is comparison 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 I think that social media makes it very hard for young people to have a clear expectation of what life really is like and what I mean by that is that like I said before social media portrays people's lives as what they want their lives to look like it makes their relationships look perfect it makes their vacations look insane it's just like an unhealthy comparison because it's not even real I mean it is probably real that they are in this relationship and they are happy but that doesn't mean that they don't fight or get into arguments or are sad sometimes so I think that's the hard part of social media and it's the part that I really struggle with because I don't want anybody comparing themselves to me and I don't want people to compare their relationships to mine and Marcus's because I just think that that's so unhealthy and everybody's relationships are so different and I feel like people just forget that. The root of comparison is just kind of ungratefulness for what you have and I just think that Jesus has blessed us all with just the ability to wake up in the morning and live our lives. That right there is a huge blessing. So I wanna encourage you guys, if you do struggle with comparison, I know that I do. It's a struggle every day to try not to compare myself to other people. I just encourage you to be more grateful for the things that you do have. Don't look at other people's lives and say, oh, I wish that I could have this or that because what you have in life is special and important and it will suck all the joy out of your life if you just live your life comparing yourself to everybody else. And the last question is, what legacy do you want to leave? And I love this question. I think that this is such a cool question because I feel like this is something that I really don't think about very often. And definitely the legacy that I want to leave is just one that reflects the love of Jesus. If I've even made one of you guys feel more loved or more special or more worth it, then that makes my whole YouTube channel so worthwhile, especially just right now doing YouTube and social media. I do want to make a positive impact in that area of life because I do feel like it can be a really sad, negative, kind of like uh, toxic environment. So I do hope to be a positive light in the whole realm of social media. And it really just is so easy to get distracted um, from what our purpose really is in life. I feel like it's so easy to just get caught up in, you know, schoolwork or like relationships or work work. And I just think it's really important for us to think about these questions. And I really hope that you guys liked this video. I know it is a little bit different, but I do want to start doing more of these videos kind of just like heart to heart with you guys so we can really just be more open and vulnerable with each other. So I really, really love you guys and I appreciate your support a million times a million I just I really really do appreciate you guys watching my videos and supporting me so I love you guys and I hope you have a great rest of your day bye